Yeah, folks. I mean, even though it was never, it was never fully confirmed towards the end of Sister Season 2 and leading into Season 3, it was a female client or someone who works at the salon who took the credit card and ran up a $5,000 bill in Zachary Taylor's name. Karen saw the video footage that Sabrina gave her from a fellow banker at another division who was able to track down the card's usage at ATMs and whatnot in stores. We never, as we as an audience, never saw who it was. We never got confirmation who it was. We just know that it was not Zach. Now, given how Pam was using this card for roots to riches, it would not surprise me if it was her that did it. But even so, the fact that we never saw her being confronted on screen is kind of weird. Kind of like how Karen waited to the last minute to confront Pam now. So I guess, you know what? I'm just going to say Pam was the one who did it. And I mean, this kind of reminds me of uh, the MCU. Look, they just dropped the news at the Comic-Con that Robert Downey Jr. is going to be Doctor Doom in one of the upcoming <laughs> Avenger films. So I'm, I got MCU on the brain. If you're an MCU fan, you know that in Iron Man 2, towards one of the ending fight scenes at the Spark Ex Stark Expo, when a bunch of those robots were attacking the uh, civilians, a little kid had an Iron Man helmet on, and then Tony swooped in and saved him. And I think one of the writers like, hey, that's Peter Parker when he was a kid. And then that got, you know, retconned into the series that, yeah, that was Peter Parker as a kid and Tony saved him. I feel like the same thing is being done here with retcons where it's like, you know what? Even though we never got full confirmation and eh, we're just going to say that Pam was the one that took the card. Now, you're probably wondering, well, if Pam did take the card, why did Karen never confront her about a five thousand dollar bill for fraudulent activity? Well, hmm, I don't know. I mean, maybe the same reason that she waited to the last minute to confront her about roots to riches, because it really did throw me off when um when uh, Miss Lisa had to give her daughter a pep talk about roots to riches and how she deserves a cut. It just seemed like a conversation that Karen wouldn't need to have given how quick she is to tear somebody up with her tongue via her sharp words and everything. But I guess maybe the yin to the yang here, Pam freaked up the company credit card with the $5,000, but then she went and saved the business by, um, by um ruining isaiah's new salon because remember after he quit karen's salon he took a bunch of the customers with him so i'm guessing that pam redeemed herself i guess for an issue she created i, I don't know i'm just grasping at straws trying to make sense but yeah i guess the best way to put it is pam was most likely the one who took that card and i don't know maybe pam uh, but even if she did, the fact that Karen never brought it up or did anything about it is just weird to me. But who knows? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Even though Tyler Perry never confirmed it, maybe the new writers are following up on it. I mean, remember what I said before. They are, you know, alluding to several different plot points from season one and bringing them back. So maybe they revived the credit card thing from season two. Hmm. All right. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one.